everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. Today we're going to talk about the CAM software, which was the uh, X62 that I did the video on quite a while back. We're going to go through, we're going to do the upgrade process and show you what's new and what's changed a little bit and show you how to, to get to the link and how to find all the pertinent information. So this is the uh, email I got and basically says, hello, happy to announce that we've made some general improvements to our infrastructure to better support our growing CAM user base. Okay, so as part of the process, we're going to be shutting down our legacy infrastructure in the coming weeks. And of course, they want us to upgrade. Now, the version they want us to upgrade to is CAM version 3.5.90. And of course they have the click here to download the new software. So we're going to go ahead and do that and hope that everything works okay. So you got two choices. You can you click here or download update. I think they're both probably the same. So I'm just going to go click on the download update button. So here's the download page. And of course they want you to sign up or sign in. And it says if you click here if your download hasn't started, which of course we haven't clicked anything. So you have the Android version, Apple iOS, but that's just if you want to use the apps that you can control this with. All we're concerned with is just CAM itself. Now, the download button is here. So I've already signed up here, so I'm just going to log in. My username and stuff, so I'm just going to pause this. So you actually want to go where, click on the one that says sign in. And if you've already registered, you've gone in here, you've done this. So you can put in your email and your password, and you're just going to click to download it. So once you've signed in, go up to here and click on where it says click here if the download hasn't automatically started. So that's what we're going to do. And now you can see down here on the bottom left of the screen, it's, it's downloading version 3.6.2. So they've updated again, even from the first time they gave us the notification. So that's going to take a few seconds to download. And once it's done, we're going to go and we're going to install it. So once it's finished downloading on the bottom of the screen, you're just going to click on it. And that's going to open up the software. And that's going to get you on the process of starting to uh, make your changes. So just, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Of course, you're going to say yes. Here we've got the, your language. You're going to choose whatever language it is that you're using. So we'll just click OK if it's uh, English. OK, so it says the wizard will install CAM on your computer. Click Next to continue or Cancel to exit the uh, setup wizard. So we're going to click Next. Now you have to accept the uh, terms and the license agreement. OK, so make sure you accept this and then click Next. Now, here you can choose whether you, you just want the CAM application itself. Uh, but we also want to go down here. We're going to install the driver for the Kraken. Now, it says up until X61, but it also includes X62. I don't know why they don't fix that. It's pretty frustrating. But anyway, be aware that it doesn't. you do need this one for your X62. If you've got the Hue, you can do that as well. And if you want to sign up for any CAM betas, you can do that, or the grid. I don't have any of those, so I'm just doing the Kraken, and we're going to click Next to continue. Okay, so it asks where you want to install them. So it's just going to click Next again, and Install. So it's just going to go through its install process. So once you've logged in, it's going to start loading CAM. as the name of my PC. And you can pick your colors and stuff and everything. Same as you had it set up before. Um, I think I had red before, but it doesn't really matter. You can pick whatever color you want. Let's say red. Uh, in any case, I'm just going to say let's go. Now it wants to go through because it's looking at it from the very first time. And as if it was never there. So it's looking at my CPU and memory, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, it says you want to see more of the details of what's in your system. Let's dive in. So we'll do that. And I'm just going to say, okay, I get it, and agree. And it's going to show me all the stuff. So all your gauges now are in red because that's the color I chose. You can change that at any point in time. 
So to get more into your Kraken software, because this is where a lot of people get confused, on the left hand side, if you hold it there for a second, you'll see, okay, this is going to show you your build. Here's your, all the information. And then if you go over here, it shows you your games. If you included them into this section, which I have not. Any overclocking, cooling. So if you want to see the fan, the pump, all that kind of good stuff, which I will do well for myself later. Uh, most important part of this for me, other than, of course, the cooler, is your lighting. So here you can go in, you can adjust your logo, make it whatever color you want, and the ring on it, of course, as well. And these are your drivers. And it just shows you the version of the Kraken driver you're now running. Okay, so firmware version and the newest driver. So on the top here, if you haven't seen this before, you can take a screenshot, you can put it into night mode, and you can explore all these yourself. I'm not going to go too depth, in depth on these. For settings, it just goes to if you had a mini cam, which I don't. Settings, like I don't know a lot about this because I really only play with what I need for the system itself. So I'm just going to click off that and go back to cooling. Okay, so they've made quite a few changes on here. Some of it I don't even understand. So we're going to have to figure it out. So, pump. So, you can set your profiles on here. It's on silent right now. You can click on here and choose how you want it. You can have a fixed, silent, performance, custom, however you want to adjust your fans for your radiator. Okay, for GPU, you can do the same thing, and for CPU. But we don't care about that. We always care about the liquid. And... I'm, just click on. I'm not saving any of this. I'm just running through it for you. And again, click on your down arrow here. And you can set up all your preferences. Okay, so if you don't like that red, after you've gone up here, you can simply go over here. Click on it. Click on uh, the light blue. It's a little bit easier on the eyes. Click OK. And click Apply. And then when you go back to your build, the color is there. So you can make that whatever color you want. And basically that's pretty much it. So if you want to explore more and you want to find out more on your own of what's in the system, it's here for you to play with. And there's just so many features in here that you really, if, there, if you really want to know everything, you kind of got to really dig deep and start exploring. All right, so I hope you liked that video. It's just a quick, uh, where to get the software, how to install it, and then you can explore it on your own and find out all the different features. I just pointed out a couple of them, but it's very in-depth. So if you want to know more about it, you're going to have to really explore it on your own. Uh, something else I want to just mention is I'm having a giveaway contest. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link in the uh, at the end of the video so you can have a look at that. Make sure you watch the whole thing because there's two things you have to do. Most people have done one. So the odds of winning are pretty good still, so, and it ends at the, uh, well, watch the video, you'll see. Anyway, like the video, don't like the video, leave me a comment if you have questions. Thanks for watching.